Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 4. So if I grieve the Spirit, I'm not manifesting the fruits of the Spirit, and I'm not manifesting the gifts of the Spirit. I mean, you want to shut both of those things down, you go grieve the Holy Spirit. And then you don't repent and you continue on in that. But listen to Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only as is such for building up. Incredible. Paul's all about building up. It fits the occasion that it might give grace to those who hear. And then look at verse 30. And don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Well, in context there, what's he, what, I mean, what's specific is on his mind even that leads to grieving the Holy Spirit? You could grieve the Holy Spirit with what? With your words. 